Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn about perspective transform function. This is the fundamental function of um, warp perspective or get perspective transform function, which we have already learned. Also, this is very important function. That's why I'm going to also talk about the formula because we need to understand also the formula, how we are getting the output. Also, there is very important input we are giving to this function, which is the transformation matrix in here. So each element of this transformation matrix also has a meaning, has a purpose. So also we are going to talk about those elements and their purposes. Also, uh, the other input we need to give, for example, two channel or three channel float type of array we need to give as input then this also will be converted to the vector also that's why you can give also vector input to the this function mostly is they are using uh, people are giving the vector inputs also and destination will be the same size same type as the source image and uh, this is also transformation this is specific sizes needed to be given for example 3 by 3 or 4 by 4 uh, sizes should be given as input okay we can switch to code part and understand more clearly first of all we need to create our um, source points so we can uh, define as vector so this is gonna be the um, point 2f which is meaning two channel which is uh, corresponding to the two channel image and this is we are gonna define as source points maybe and this is done and after that we are gonna push some elements let's make um maybe we can only four elements is gonna be enough let's define the first one i'm gonna choose the uh, easiest numbers because we are gonna calculate at the end so we can uh, choose easiest one so it's easy to be calculate at the end okay let's define four currently and uh, three by two Let's make 1 by 0 and 0 by, um, let's make, okay, 4 maybe. Okay, this is the source point. Source points are done. Next is going to be the um, transformation matrix we need to define. Let's define it. And, uh, okay, transformation matrix maybe. This is enough. And this is going to be the met, of course. And, uh, by the way, do not uh, focus to the purpose or what I'm doing now. We are just define the inputs, and after that we are gonna um, we are gonna understand the purpose because the first uh, purpose of mine is just to explain the formula, how the output is calculated, and after this we are gonna make a real example. This is gonna be float or double, and after that this is three by three or four by two, four by four needed to be, so we are choosing three by three. And after that we need to define the elements and uh, let's this is double but i'm gonna choose the easiest one again because uh we are gonna calculate at the end right then after that uh one two zero let's choose um three zero and one and the next one is gonna be um let's say six uh zero and one okay so the transformation matrix is also done now uh, let's make it more easy to read okay okay my transformation matrix is done my source points is done so the next is I need to define also destination points which is the same type will be as the source points so let's define this as destination points and call the perspective transform function which is the input is gonna be the source points then the destination points we need to give okay and then the transformation matrix okay now the function is done also we can only read the output via on the console because um, since the input is flat output is gonna be flat so that's why we cannot show with im show and we are gonna call destination points and we are gonna read via on the console okay since we are done let's read it okay uh, by the way, this is the source points, this is the destination points. So each is the first column representing the x axis, and the second is gonna be representing the y axis. So this is the source points, and this is the destination points. So let's calculate this calling a calculator. And uh, okay, so how this is calculated? First of all, uh, there are some uh, formulas and some uh, rules. For example, First of all, the source points is needed to be homogeneous. So that's why they are adding one at the end. So do not judge this part. So just you need to uh, 
you need to add one to the end when calculating so just i'm putting temporarily so at the end imagine there is a one number so this is like um three columns okay this is the first one then second one is how it's calculating it's very easy the for, for example for the first one which is we are gonna get this one second step is uh multiplication with the transformation matrix for example one times one is equal to let's write to the here one plus two by two plus uh, is equal to four and plus one by zero which is zero so this is equal to um this is equal to four five this is equal to five okay then the second one one times three is equal to three let's write to the here plus and uh, two times zero is equal to sorry we are working making for this one one times three is three two times zero is equal to zero and one times one is equal to one which is equal to four okay and the last one uh one times six is equal to six plus two times zero is equal to zero and the last one one times one is equal to one which is equal to seven okay so this is representing the x axis which is five and this is representing four and this is representing seven let's write more simply five and four and seven okay so this is the uh for also maybe i need to write here the first step is um homogeneous making homogeneous making the our matrix the second step is multiplication and the next step is just um it's gonna be the normal normalization yeah the next step is gonna be the normalization so how we are gonna do that the last one is should be back to one which is at the beginning one so we are dividing each element to the seven to get the this uh the last or the last element as one so we need to define we need to do divide each element to the seven let's make via on here five divided by seven is equal to 0 0.71 which is equal to first x-axis and similarly also the 4 divided by 7 is equal to 0 0.57 okay so the usage is like this the mathematics behind is totally like this maybe we can write the third step which is normalization okay uh, I think it's very simple basically for each element we are adding one which is the homogeneous making the input matrix this is the first step then we are multiplying each of this with the um, transformation matrix and this is giving us the output like this and at the end we are making normalization which is making the last element as one then this is divided this is divided the last element at the output of course eliminated because it's already one so we are getting x and the y axis values so this is the mathematical behind so where um why we why do we need this function and how do we use this one let's pass to that step maybe i can uh of also write this to here so you can uh keep in mind okay um the last step let's switch to that one i'm thinking a little bit okay maybe we need to first of all define a math so we can make a real example let's define a Mat which is gonna be input image and here we are gonna make a, maybe at all can be zeros because um it's not really important so we can make all zeros we can make the points different color so we can easily see okay and uh, this is gonna be egg channel egg bit channel and uh okay like this Oh, sorry this is gonna be three channel because i'm gonna make some colorful things on this image okay input image is ready so we can define our um source points again these are so small points let's make these little bigger 100 to let's say 100 and this is, can be 200 to okay 200 to 100 and maybe this is 200 to 200 and the last one can be also let's say 100 to 200 okay 
these are some simple also we can see the points at the end because they are far to each other okay and uh, transformation matrix this is the last step and uh, also last points last rows of this transformation matrix is mostly 0 0 1 uh, do not do not ask why because they are always using this way there are some mathematical explanation but uh, mostly they are using 0 0.0.1 so this is the last row but these elements are very important so we are gonna focus on them first of all and uh, let's start with the basic one then I will explain why we are doing this way okay 0 1 1 0 and 0 okay so we made this one the next is gonna be the destination points and we we are getting in here so after this we can uh, make circle both source points and the destination points in our input image so we can understand how it looks like and we can talk about it okay let's make a for loop and uh, here maybe I can call point 2f um, let's make point each element of the let's make but also of course I will need the source point so maybe it will be better with like this and source points that size and uh, okay don't give me error and uh, after this um, I'm gonna just draw some circle CV circle and uh, after this the input image will be same input image then uh, the center point is gonna be okay maybe first of all the source one we are gonna make drawing circle source points and I and after that the radius let's make five and color the input one maybe we can make like say a red color 0 0 and 255 and then the thickness let's say 2 maybe and the rest is not important similarly we need to draw circles for the destination image uh, this is gonna be change only also color maybe we can make yellow instead of red okay all is done so we can see the result with imshow um, out maybe and after that we can uh, write input image and the last one of course CV weight key okay seems we are done let's see the results then uh, talk about the result okay why where is my the fourth circle um, okay I'm thinking where is my fourth circles something happened in here this is gonna be the destination size um, let's see again okay something wrong in here because the destination size also is equal to source point size I'm expecting maybe I made a mistake in here uh, let's little play with this okay maybe make here I will talk about this one later let's see because I'm I don't see the fourth circle there is only three still three what I am missing um, okay 100 200 200 um, I'm curious so I want to see my points in here because there is something missing in here I'm just curious where is my fourth destination points I want to see them okay this is gonna be the source points and then I'm gonna see also destination points because I'm expecting the bot is equal to okay in here why the uh, two of them is equal to each other this is because of maybe um, this is cause of something like this let's little play with here because maybe that's why it's giving me okay now I get my four points it's because the input elements I'm giving okay forget about here now uh, we can focus okay um, first of all this last elements the third column first and the second row these are representing respectively the X and the Y uh, transformation for example if you increase these things uh, 
more for example if you let's see the, this result this is in here right if you increase this one only you are gonna see the x axis more right side let me compare this is the first one in here this is um oh because it's going down i cannot see but as a result you see this is close to the left side but now it's going far to the right side so increasing this one increasing this uh, elements for example if you make 600 you see it's going more far you see the x axis transforming x axis changing so if you make it 100 it's gonna back to this side if you make it um, zero it's gonna come to the init initial points almost it's in here because of the of course y axis let's make it zero also you see it's very close to the initial points that's like that because we are playing with the uh, rotation and the other kind of things this is the transformation we need to focus let's make it temporarily 100 maybe okay and uh, after that um this one is rotating and these are the rotating things for example if you play with this one the input it will be rotating little you see it's going up if you play with this one also in the other uh, rotation type it will be rotate in the uh, you need to uh, think uh, 3d kind of it's rotating the points accordingly these two uh, element of the transformation matrix is working for rotation and these two is the size for example this is the x size if you increase this to the 10 it's gonna be bigger in the x direction oh it's so bigger so you cannot see let's make two maybe okay so uh, maybe also we can make rotation low we can uh, see the difference okay now you see the uh, width is more higher than uh, more bigger than the input width so you see the result and here uh, you can also make this three so it will be uh, bigger in the y axis direction you see the height is bigger comparing to the input how we back to the initial point so if you do not do anything so rotation is let's say um rotation is also zero and uh, after that this is maybe one only because these are representing only the width and height so you see at the beginning i need to uh, get these points but i don't know why where i'm making wrong okay so this is the um uniform transformation matrix we can call you see i didn't rotate it i didn't change the transform uh in the x and y directions i didn't change the sizes they are equal to the input size so i don't see any red circles in the output because they are on each other so if you little play for example let's play with the size 1.2 so uh, you see it's little uh, changing uh, the width and it's going little to the right side and uh, similarly if you play with the y direction it's gonna do the same for the y direction is increasing the width and also is changing the location little bit also if you change only this one it's gonna go to the right side uh, yeah it's going to the right side only not changing the sizes if you play with this for example one is equal to uh, 45 degree and it's rotating 45 degree if you same for the this axis you will see something like this yeah this is uh, you need to think as 3d yeah these elements are very important ignore this one this is, should be x y these are both rotation and these are size they are uh, changing the size so transformation matrix is very important in image processing you need to know the purpose of these elements also perspective transform is used many times for um, artificial intelligence things for also augmented reality things also i have an example uh, not example but a project in my youtube which is uh, which is Aruko, which is made with arco markers i made some uh, kind of project and you can also check that one this is very uh, basic function also important so that's why this video also a little longer uh, sorry if there is any confusion you can write to the comments also i can answer and yeah thank you for watching see you in the next videos